reform. What will happen in the House of Representatives? First of all, a wolf here, an optimist. I'm not sure that is going to happen. Uh, we may have, uh, 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 well, as I mentioned yesterday, we, we, the President does intend to uh, veto this piece of legislation and we intend uh, to do it without hold, hold on uh, one any second. drama or fanfare or delay. Hold on one second. I, I guess we got a technical issue. Hold on. I think that was Josh Ernest or something that we got a technical issue. Let me start again. Sean Duffy, uh, assuming it passes a clean bill in the Senate, what's going to happen in the House of Representatives? So it's, it, it, what we're going to do, Wolf, is something that's very simple. We're going to say, you know what, let's fund. Uh, the security of our homeland. Uh, make sure that all the money is there to make sure uh, Al Qaeda or Russia or China, no one can come and attack us here. What we're not going to fund, though, is something that has nothing to do with homeland security, which is the president's executive overreach. So when I hear Barbara Boxer make comments or Democrats make comments that that um, that we're not passing a clean bill, or even you mentioned that, the fact is we actually are passing a clean bill that funds homeland security uh, until the end of. Uh, until the end of the fiscal year, which is the right thing to do. What I don't understand is why Democrats are saying we have to have the funding of the president's executive overreach uh, in exchange for funding Homeland Security. That does not make sense. The president 22 times said he couldn't do this. The courts have agreed he can't do it. And, and in our right. funding package, we didn't give him the money for uh, executive amnesty. All right, Congressman uh, uh, Kildee, explain why you disagree with the rep your Republican colleague. Well, I don't think it's proper for the Congress to use the appropriations process, use the essential funding to an important uh, division of, of the federal government in order to exact from either the president or Democrats in Congress that which they are not willing to submit to the legislative process. A simple fix would be to fund Homeland Security, uh, as, as Congressman Duffy said, fund that essential service, and then bring to the floor of the House of Representatives and the Senate comprehensive immigration reform. Let's deal with the question of immigration, but let's deal with it in its own context. And I, I think if we want to talk about overreach, overreach is using a threat of the shutdown of an important set of government responsibilities in order to exact concessions from the president or from Democrats in Congress. Right, well, that, let, to let, me, let, is let, not acceptable. Let, let me get back to the, hold on a second, let me get back to the original question. Congressman Duffy, if, if, and, and I know you think it's optimistic, but let's say the Senate does pass what's called a clean funding bill for the Department of Homeland Security. If it comes without immigration attached to it, what will happen in the House of Representatives? Will you vote under those circumstances to keep the Department of Homeland Security running? Listen, I've already voted once to keep the Department of Homeland Security running, and I'll vote again to keep the Department of Homeland Security running. Uh, but I, I'm not going to vote to fund uh, the president's executive amnesty. I don't think that's well, right. There, there won't be any mention, but there, in this new legislation, assuming it gets to you, there won't be any mention whatsoever of homeland security, uh, of, of immigration, which, as you also know, uh, is under judicial but, review well, right now. It's right, for all practical right. purposes. True. It's stopped. That could, that, that could come into play in our conference, but we have to understand that the House, per our Constitution, has the power of the purse. And so we have no obligation to fund uh, executive amnesty that comes from the president or, or none of the or any of the president's um, wishes uh, that they come out of the White House. We, we have the, the power of the purse and those duly elected members of Congress should hash that out. Now we would have both agree we need to get immigration reform done but, but um, we are not going to fund the president's executive amnesty but we are going to fund homeland security and I think that's an, a, a very important distinction and I think what's going to be hard for Democrats and Mr. Kildee as well is how do they say we're going to shut down Homeland Security funding uh, in very important agencies uh, in exchange for saying we're not going to um, allow the, 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 the children right, to come here for executive amnesty. Well, obviously, Kildee, go ahead. obviously, that's not the position that the Democrats or the president is taking. Uh, look, we can fund Homeland Security. We can do it today. We can do it this afternoon with a clean bill that does not try to direct the president or legislate that which the Congress ought to legislate, and that is immigration policy. This is not about funding his executive order. This is about funding an essential function of government. And then Congress should legislate on these big questions of immigration policy. But for whatever reason, we have not seen the speaker bring comprehensive immigration reform, that which passed the Senate in the last Congress, to the floor of the House. And, and, and I believe we should do that, Wolf, but just note that we didn't bring it up in the last Congress, and we want a historic majority in the House, and we want to control the Senate. So, so you uh, have that majority? Bring it up now. And, and, and I think we should. 
But the larger view is, let's make sure we keep Homeland Security funded. We can have this debate about immigration a little further down the road when we have more time. But don't hold Homeland Security hostage because you want to fund executive amnesty. But, uh, we got to end it, right, Congressman, uh, and it's a good discussion. But for all practical purposes, Congressman Duffy, uh, the, what the president wants to do with these four or five billion uh, illegal immigrants, undocumented immigrants uh, right now, that's not happening because a, a Texas federal judge says it, it has to be put on hold. They're going to seek some reviews. They're going to the Fifth District Cor uh, Circuit Court in New Orleans. But for all practical purposes, the president isn't able, at least for the time being, to do what you want to do. Isn't it more important, though, to keep the Department of Homeland Security going rather than making a, 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 taking a principled position, if you will? But, but, but Wolf, th that could buy us some short time what's happened in the courts. But again, we have taken a, 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 the right position, which is fund Homeland Security. We just need Democrats to come over and do that with us and save the debate on immigration for a later day. Don't, well, don't hold the security well, of the country hostage but, for, all right, I, we got, for uh, Guys, we got to leave, we gotta leave it all there. Right. But uh, I, know, uh, I know where you guys stand. I know what's going to happen supposedly in the House of Representatives if, it, <laughs> if, if the Senate does pass this clean bill. Uh, nobody wants to see the Department of Homeland Security shut down. The deadline is Friday at midnight. Uh, guys, good luck to both of you. Good luck to everyone up on Capitol Hill because lots at stake for American homeland security right now. It's a critically important issue. Appreciate both of you spending a few moments with us. Thank you very much. Thanks, Thank you. Wolf. ISIS has reportedly kidnapped another group of Christians, including